hello what's up guys here's another quick video tutorial this time I'm going to help you out on how you can set up a Wi-Fi network and also add in a password secure your uh, wireless network on your ZTE ZXHN H108 N version 2.5 router it's kinda long alright let's start off you first have to check your IP address if you are connected to a specific router or maybe you are connected to a different network how to verify that first bring up your command prompt do a run command windows R on your keyboard type in CMD CMD enter and next up IP ZONFIG IP config enter and find something that says uh, IP version 4 address and default gateway this is your computer's IP address 1.5 and this is your gateway I'm pretty sure you would not get a 1.1 IP address yet because when I got this modem router the IP address is defaulted to 0.1 almost all routers you would get a 1.1, 10.1 and a 0.1 uh, default gateway or default IP address but it's on 1.1 because I changed it already because I have a different router it's conflicting if it's gonna if it's gonna get the same 1.1 or 0.1 address so again if you get a 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1 that is going to be the value that you're going to use to connect to your router now how to connect just remember that default gateway open up a browser may it be a Firefox or a Chrome and on your URL just type in 192.168.1.1 again let's check that back 192.168.1.1 same thing as your URL press enter it's going to bring you up this page it says ZXHN H108NV 2.5 um, thing though you have to check first on this and then go look at your router if it matches the same model number why because sometimes it could have been that you are connected to a different network maybe you're trying and trying to access and uh, you, you could not even log in because you are connected to your neighbors or maybe to your friends mobile internet so next thing to do is type in admin admin for the username password sometimes it could be admin as well but with Biontel um, it's Biontel sometimes it's BAY4NT3L if you've tried everything but it doesn't work you may need to restart if it still doesn't work you may need to hard reset your router try those values that you see on the screen right now and if one lets you log in then you can continue from there buy and DSL yeah from there you go to network right here on the left side and go look up for something that says WLAN now your SSID is your network name this is the name of the network that you have to search for or input on your wireless device let's say you're on a cafe this is where you connect to this is the name of your network now let's start off with choose SSID SSID 1 you have multiple SSIDs in there if you want to like go interval maybe again you're on a business you're on a cafe you don't want to use constant IP address every day you can just set up 1 2 3 and 4 something like that now I just on to SSID 1 now hide SSID if you hide that it's still going to be active but you, you cannot find it if you're going to search for the network it's an added uh, security you can do that but it does not work on every other device I tell you that sometimes this works sometimes it doesn't work that's the reason why I had it hidden right now because I've verified and checked on all the devices that I have that it does work to a point that you cannot see you cannot connect try to uncheck that it, it would help you out yeah why the need to hide an SSID you have to hide your SSID so that no one can search that uh, I mean so no one can search and connect to your network yes you have a password but again it's still nice that when somebody would get to search for wireless networks in your area and they would not even find anything it's still better to hide it now enable SSID this is where you have it checked because if you uncheck that 
that means that you're converting your router into a non-wireless device. That means you're turning off the antenna. You do not want your router to broadcast any wireless signal. Now again, if you check that, that means that your router or your router's wireless capability is enabled. Now let's go down to something that says SSID or SSID name. This is going to be your network name. Just type in, let's say, uh, my cafe biz. Maybe that's your network name that you want to use. Priority 1, 2, 7, sometimes 1 to 9. That's just about all right. Uh, SSID name, again, my cafe biz. You have to remember that because this is going to be your ID that you're going to be using to connect. Remember, your SSID right now is hidden. Once you save this or you click submit and then try to search that, try to connect your cell phone or your mobile device, maybe your tablet, you cannot find my cafe biz showing on your network list. Why? Because it's hidden. You can connect by configuring it manually. So click submit. I'm not going to click on submit right now because I'm still connected to my network. But after clicking submit, next thing we have to do is go to security right here. Now this is where you add or change your password. Let me halt a little bit. Let me go back. Right after you click on submit on your SSID, let me go back and say my cafe biz. If you click on submit and you are configuring everything right now wirelessly, that means you will be disconnected. So you have to connect to that network again, go back and log in again onto this page and then go find security and this would be for your SSID one. This password specific for the SSID My Cafe Biz that we created. If you want this passphrase or password to to not affect that ID or to be on a different SSID that you may have set up, you can just select from the list of the SSIDs that you have in there. Now, authentication type PA2 PSK is okay. Um, if you want to know about all these shared key uh, PSK WPA TKIP just check out the list of videos that we have. Your passphrase or your password would be this WPA passphrase 8 to 64 characters right here. Uh, just type in something else, maybe uh, test pass. Just put it on to TKIP AES. If you just put it on to TKIP AES, it'll be just better put it on on both. Okay, if you want to know more about that, let's check the link that we have. Again, click on submit. After clicking on submit, it would disconnect you from the network. So what you do again is to go click on this and then add the network that we just created. Question, why would it disconnect? Because you did make changes. It would disconnect you if you are doing the configuration wirelessly and not on uh, UTP or RJ45 cables. If you're doing it wired, then it would not disconnect you. Again, for some of the quick video tutorials, you can check out our channel, TechPH, and please do subscribe. Again, my name is Ty. Thanks much for watching.